Shalom, this is a new Yeshua Mizra at Hebrew on the Island 2. Today's video is, this is the most high summed up to me. What about you? Making this very quick video because you know, I had a conversation with one of my subscribers and you know, we were talking about like, he, he was talking to me about you know, like, you know, like sometimes he would get a little upset with our brethren because, you know, they, they, they think that the Most High has a sidekick called Yahweh Shai. These crazy black Christians and regular heathen Gentile Christians and people call them Jesus Christ and stuff like that. It looks like they're never going to get the message. But my brother and for you subscribers out there, remember, a man's ways is of the Most High. How could a man understand his ways? A good man's step is, is ordered by the Most High. So everything is predestined. So you know what? We have to let these Negroes who are provoking the Most High every day. And sometimes we provoke them not being on, on track. But they stay not being on track. You have to just let them go. You know, it says in Ezekiel chapter 14. I'm not there because I said it's a, a short video. Um, Moses, Ezekiel, and Daniel, and no, Moses, Job, and Daniel had to save themselves. So we just have to worry about ourselves. We pray for the brethren, but guess what? If they are talking about the Most High has a sidekick, when in the major prophets, it tells you in the Lord, he said he's alone. Just go to my video uh, list that I have on my channel. I give many videos t stating that the Most High doesn't have a sidekick. He doesn't have a special, special son. That's the maker. That's the word. That's a whole bunch of things. The angel of the Most High. No. We, Israelite men, are the sons of the Most High. You find that in Exodus, what, 4.22? Something like that? I remember, I don't have my Bible out here with me. It says, uh, the sons of the Most High is the Israelites. And I think this is in Exodus 4, it says, uh, the Most High tells Moses to tell Pharaoh, tell Pharaoh, Israel's my son, even my firstborn. So you still have Negroes, a.k.a. Israelites, because the only Israelites are Negroes that have been scattered to the four corners, that only suffer the curses of Deuteronomy 28 and Leviticus 26. These crazy Christians don't even factor that in. How to find out who is a Israelite. People that suffer the curses, the only people that are suffering the curses are the Israelites, which are the Negroes, and we're hated by all the nations of the world. We are those 70 million Indians that they killed. We're the true Aboriginal Indians of the Americas. We're not African. And we were shipped to Africa and all the rest, all around the rest of the world. You guys continue to provoke him. But if you knew how to sum up the most high, you would probably put on the brakes with that continual sinning, continuing not recognizing the judgments of the most high. When you read what Psalm 147, 19 and 20, he said he gave his word to, to Jacob and the statutes and judgments under Israel. He has not dealt so with any other nation and for his judgments, they have not known him. You niggles act like you don't know his judgments and he gave you the law. Get in line. When you know the sum of the most high, it should make you get on track or get back on track if you fall off quickly. This is how I sum up the most high. Turn with me to Deuteronomy 32, verse 39. All right, I have to scroll down. The camera's going to be moving. Bear with me. I'm not even in my house doing this. Well, this is like, this is my little second little apartment that I'm fixing up. So I don't have anything in here. So I'm look, you know, I, I decided to do this video. Quick video. That was Deuteronomy 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no Elohim with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hands. So when you read Deuteronomy 32, verse 39, that sums it up. That, that sums up the power of the Most High, like of everything. But 
I have even one better and we'll bring it to a close. I have one better and we'll bring it to a close. The one better is 1 Samuel chapter 2. 1 Samuel chapter 2. On your own, look it up. Read it for yourself. 1 Samuel chapter 2, right? And come with me to verse 6 to 10. That was 1 Samuel. You saw that on the screen already. Chapter 2, verses 6 to 10. The Most High killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and he bringeth up. The Most High maketh the poor and maketh the rich. He bringeth low and he lifteth up. He raised up the poor out of the dust and lift up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among the princes and to make them inherit the thrones of glory for the pillars of the earth are the, the Most High and he has set the world upon them. Verse 9, he will keep the feet of his saints and the wicked shall be silenced in darkness for by strength shall no man prevail. Verse 10, the adversaries of the Most High shall be broken to pieces. Out of the heavens shall be the thunder upon them. The Most High shall judge the ends of the earth and he shall give strength unto his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. That's the Hebrew Israelites. That was the sum of it all. Nobody can prevail. He's going to keep us. He's going to destroy them and subjugate them. He's not playing around. That's how I sum up the Most High. His plan for the world and for us. Remember, don't fret over these other Israelites, these Negroes that don't want to get in line. Want to keep saying that the Most High has a savior when the most high says he's a savior when these negroes are saying that are 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 um, making the most high jealous and and provoking the most high continually by their actions and their words saying the most high there's another redeemer it's called Yahushai. when we know that there's no other redeemer the most high says in isaiah 44 he's a redeemer he says he creates all things that he created the heavens and earth and Jeremiah is one of my favorites. Jeremiah 32, he said, I created all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? But they attribute all these things to another, to another God. And that God is your house sign in Jesus and everything else. He's an idol. You guys are confused. Learn how to sum up the Most High in the scriptures. And I just gave you an example. This is a new Yeshurim Israel at Hebrew on the island too. Until next time, next time.